What's up, everyone? Kevin Oak here, getting into deadlifts. So, um, it's been a while. Haven't uploaded in like two, three weeks. It's just been a lot going on. A um, couple weeks ago, ended up getting really sick. It was right when the seasons change. Um, pretty much no matter what I do, I always get sick whenever the seasons change. It's a huge pain in the ass. Fucked with my training. Wasn't happy about it. At the same time, which was right around, um, it was when I squat like 770 for a double. Then two days later, I pulled the 780 sumo. Um, I was a little beat up from that. And what happened was I had to travel to Puerto Rico a couple days later just to hang out and chill or whatever. But every day after the sumo, my SI joint started hurting more and more. And I was sick at the same time. So my body was in a ton of pain as well. And my SI joint just ended up feeling extremely fucked up. So the original plan, that would be five weeks out of tr for training from the meet. That's usually why I switched to conventional, but I didn't want to do that with the SI joint issue. So I kept pulling sumo because my sumo was within 10 pounds of my conventional anyway. I was like, I'll just do sumo. So I started working on the grip when I got back. My SI joint was still a little messed up, so I couldn't pull as heavy. But um, a huge issue I was having was basically, it's like the Chris Duffin arm, where my left arm, which is the underhand arm, is extremely bent. So with conventional, your arm's on the side of your body, so it doesn't really matter if your arm is bent because your elbow can be a little further back. You can still keep the bar very tight to your body if you can kind of get what I'm saying. Like, you still have a direct line going down to the bar. Now, when you pull sumo, which you can kind of see here, if your underhand grip, if that arm is bent in your elbow, it's kind of bent and your hand is forward, what happens is, when you go to move, since your arm is in front of your leg instead of to the side of your leg, the elbow ends up going into your leg, and then what happens is your hand wants to go forward. So you kind of get that helicopter thing going where the bar starts spinning. So every time I try to work up somewhat heavy on sumos, what's happening is the bar either starts spinning on me or I start going forward, which is extremely frustrating because I'm probably stronger or at least pretty close sumo compared to my conventional but I'm getting stuck in the low 700s because every time I get there, the bar just starts spinning on me while I'm trying to lock out. So in this workout, you'll see, I end up trying to work up to 720. Um, the first 720, as you saw, basically what happened was I was just out of position. So um, I went for it again. And then what was happening was it was coming into lockout. The weight didn't even feel heavy, but I was trying to keep the bar tight to my body. And what happened was it started spinning and I started going forward. That's why I just dropped it because I was about to fall over. Extremely frustrating. I'm three weeks out, so I'm like, you know what? My back feels fine. I'm going to switch to conventional anyway. Even though I can't get the full five weeks like I like to, I'm going to do it. So I switched back to conventional. Bar's moving great. Back feels great. I go with it. Ended up working up to 765, as you'll see. It was a little, um, it went smooth. Wasn't as fast as I'd like it to be, but it's the first time I pulled conventional since Boss of Bosses, so it's always a little off first day back. But um, it felt good. I think I'll be good for 800 at comp, which is my goal. I really want to pull 800. I really want to do an 800 plus squat with an 800 deadlift and a 500 plus bench. I'd be the lightest person to do so. So I'm really trying to do that. Currently, my body weight's right at like 235. Just because I was sick, I lost a bunch of weight. I'm not going to try to force it to move up a weight class, honestly. So, good chance I just go 220. I still definitely want to go head-to-head -head with all the 242s. I see has a head-to-head -head matchup. So, either way, I'm trying to beat them. But I'm probably going to weigh in at 220. Um, so, that's what's going on. Switching conventional feels good. I got two more sessions. Going to give everything I have. I think I have 800 for the platform. Um, also, everybody that's overseas in Great Britain, just so you know, I'm doing a seminar in London at Genesis Gym. I'll put the information in the description. Also, it's at the end of the video, but um, it's at Genesis Gym. It will be November 10th, I believe. I have to check. Actually, I think it's November, it's November 12th, but I'll put all the information. Check out the link. Check it out. It's going to be great. I'm going to go over all the lifts as well as the accessory work for them, so it's going to be a great time. Other than that... I'm feeling good. I think everything's peaking well for the meat.